What's up comment creators? Uh, so I'm going to sh show you briefly here how to add stickers into your project within CapCut Mobile. Um, but basically what I'm doing at this point is in my timeline itself, I'm just moving my cursor to wherever I want that sticker to pop into the project. Uh, so wherever the cursor is is where it's going to be thrown into. Uh, so I'm just kind of place that wherever. Now in the bottom menu section, uh, you want to click on the stickers icon. Um, and when you click on that stickers icon, it'll open up the uh, all the different options that that CapCut Mobile offers for stickers. I mean, they've got your basics, they got the subscribes, the the arrows. If I click vlog here, they've got a bunch of different options uh, to for vlogs. And so. Uh, when you want to see what it looks like in your project if you click on a sticker itself it's going to throw that into your uh, project uh, timeline automatically and it'll pop up in the uh, preview screen for your video so if i click on this flashing vlog one here it'll throw it right into the video uh, itself and then um uh, in order to get it out like let's say I was like oh I don't want that one I'll just go ahead and select another one it keeps adding them on you actually have to select the sticker in your timeline thing and you have to click X on the top uh, left hand corner um, and that will uh, remove it from the project if you decide that you don't want it uh, so for this case uh, I probably am not going to use any of these I'm gonna go ahead and probably uh, just use something basic and a little more silly uh, so I actually think I'm gonna uh, grab one of these uh, stickers that are like the smiley faces or something. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit just to give you a preview here. You know what? I'm going to do the sun. So we'll throw the sun in there. It's the beach. It matches. That's perfect. So now I've got now I've actually got it in the timeline. Once I find the one I want, I click the check mark in the top uh, right hand corner. Uh, and now you'll see it as a bar in my project timeline. Uh, so there's a couple different things you can do here. If I'm holding my finger down uh, and moving my finger around my screen here. I'm actually uh, moving the sticker itself to place it uh, i can use my two fingers on there and rotating them allows me to turn the sticker itself so i'm doing that uh, the little square in the bottom right hand corner if i hold my finger down there and move my finger that allows me to resize uh, the the sticker itself so i'm just basically placing this the way that i want it and getting it exactly how i, I want to have it in my project the top right hand uh, circle allows you to add animations into its into the sticker so if i click that top right hand circle that's going to open up uh, my uh, menu options for animations here so you see here these are all the animation options i can add to my sticker i'm going to add in a, like a spring entryway uh, into it and going in it's um, so on the bar here if I hold my finger down and move that bar up and down that increases the amount of time it takes for the animation to play out um, I do feel like if the more if I give it more time it, it makes it look more smoother and more professional uh, in the project so once you click the check mark now you've added the animation in there the little squares on the left hand side of the sticker when you click that it duplicates it so that's what it does if you wanted to add more than one sticker in there I don't so I'm gonna click the top left and X out of that but that is what those little uh, circle things do in the in the on the around the sticker when it's highlighted now here I'm holding my finger down and moving the bar around to replace where I want it to pop up and then I'm also holding my finger down on the edge like I would anything else and extending the amount of time that it's actually in the project that's how you do all that now if I click it again to add animations I'm gonna add an out animation uh, in the top left hand side there I've selected out and then I'm gonna add this little um, kind of like fade in or, or maybe like a spring or yeah something like that and it's the same deal there now on the right hand side of the bar there I just increase the amount of time that it's taken to do that and that is how you uh, add in all these uh, sweet animations and stickers it looks pretty awesome uh, it works really well within the cap cup project um, and that's a quick tutorial on adding stickers so if you guys uh, have any other questions or comments let me know in the comments section down below but that was just a quick guide on what you can do with stickers and you can go crazy from there I think that's a great, great place to get started so thank you guys for watching please like subscribe share comment all those things really helps the channel and I really really appreciate you guys taking the time to do that and I will catch you guys in the next one see you later thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please take the time to like comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects. And please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators.
and transmission.